What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on Northwestern and ended up winning 48 to 14. It was a top 25 matchup, and it was a wild game in the first half. Their quarterback was really putting on a clinic. But you look at the third and fourth quarters, and we woke up and we decided to play some football, and we ended up taking care of business. And we're now 2 0. We're still number one in the country. And today, we're going to play our first conference game of the season. And that is against NC State. We beat them last year, and we got more talent than they do. Looks like they got a pretty strong running game. It looks like their turnover differential is pretty strong as well. Now, from what I remember, they run pretty much like a spread offense with a 4-3 defense, but it should be a lot of fun. We could check out recruiting. We are going after four guys, starting off with the defensive tackle, Brian Westerman. He's got it down to his top five or number one on his list, but we don't know what he's really into yet, but I feel pretty strong that we can get this guy. Uh, as long as we keep winning and we can find out a positive pitch. Now, the next guy up is Danny Huff, the quarterback. It's us in Texas, but we're putting a ton of points on him. It wouldn't shock me we moved up to number one here in another week or so. We don't know what he likes yet, but at least we know what he doesn't like. So we're narrowing it down to just a few different things. So we should have a much better chance of figuring out what he's really into. Next up, we got outside linebacker Anthony Wilson. He's got it down to his top five for number one on his list. And we got the positive pitch. So we got a very good chance of landing that prospect. And last but not least, the wide receiver, Marcus Week, 6'7", 232 pounds, just an absolute monster. We're number one on his list, which is good. He just can't narrow it down from his top eight for whatever reason. But as you can see here, we don't know what he's really into yet, but hopefully over time, we'll be able to narrow that down and we can figure out what he is into. Let's check out the team info screen. And now Nichols got hurt in the last game. He's out for a solid month. I'm pretty sure we don't have a bye week in there, but I think we're gonna be okay. We got some depth at defensive end. I just hate that he's going to miss, you know, a solid third of the season. But you look at our offensive leaders. Gates is playing amazing football. He's an impact player, and I'm using him a whole lot more this year because of that. We're throwing the ball a little bit more, and it's showing. He's just off to a really good start. Running the ball, Perro's doing a great job, and then Miranda and Hill behind him. And what's interesting, they got Michael Hill as the leading receiver. I think they go by total yards. It may go by average. Either way, he's probably not going to hold on to that lead. I'm sure one of our wide receivers will do that. I'd like to see one of our tight ends do that. That'd be pretty cool, like Parker. But look at our defensive leaders, Walker, Nichols, and Butler. That's going to change throughout the season. We got so many good players on that side of the ball that we can have various guys leading in all of those categories. Now let's go check out NC State's team info screen. It looks like they have a cornerback out for the remainder of the season. We'll see if he's a starter or not. And it looks like they got beat against Central Michigan in their previous game. And just looking at their offensive leaders, I'm not seeing a whole lot other than they got a running back putting up some really good numbers, which should make sense because that's just what we saw at the beginning of this video. I'm assuming he's an impact guy, but we'll find out here shortly looking at the defensive side of things it looks like they got one guy leaning both in tackles and interceptions but it's still too early to see what they're really good at but we're going to check out their roster here in a little bit before we head back into the video i just wanted to point out a few things from my store first off Everything in the store is 20% off if you buy four or more items. That's an incredible deal that several people have already taken advantage of. Now, my latest book is out, the Flexible Shoot Playbook for NCAA Football 06. It's essentially the offense I ran in my Hawaii Dynasty the last few seasons of it where I broke just a ton of records and I had a whole lot of fun doing it. I also have my memory cards where I have over 20 named roster files for every single NCAA football game for the PlayStation 2. And last but not least, I have all of my books. West Coast Offense, The Power Shoot, The Al Raid Offense, The Big Book of Tight End Plays, then you got the I Option Offense, and so on and so forth. So make sure you check that out. I will have a link in the top right and in the description below. I can't tell. Yes, it looks like we're going to have a really pretty day for some football. I always enjoy this stadium. I don't get to play in it enough. I think it looks really cool. It's got a lot of nice detail to it. I don't know if the next guys have been fooling around with the stadium stuff. Haven't been paying too much attention. But yes, we're going to have good weather. This is one dynasty that would be pretty cool. But they're already pretty solid in this game out of the gate. NC State is. And here come the Wolfpack. 
Those are pretty cool uniforms. I like the side thing on the side of the pants. I guess it said Wolfpack. And here come the Duke Blue Devils, number one team of the country. Justin Gates having a great season so far. I'd like to see him just go wild today. Looks like they are picking us to win. Let's go to the coin toss. We won it. I want the ball to start a second half. And let's check out their roster, see what we are dealing with. Starting quarterback, lefty, 86 speed. This will be a challenge to deal with. So we're not going to blitz a whole lot unless we feel like we need to. But they got an impact running back. So this is like the nightmare scenario. They got a dual threat quarterback with a really good halfback who's an impact guy. And he's got 92 speed to go with that. I'm sure he can catch and he can. Just a really good ball player all around. Fullback, 84 overall, 74 speed. Wide receiver, 90, 90, 82. So their offense is looking pretty solid so far. Tight end, 80 and 74. We may see this guy catch the ball once or twice today. You look at their offensive line. This is where we may be able to have an advantage. 76, 80, 98. Wow, that's impressive. Then 85 and 74. So their ends aren't the best in the world. Now, again, I think they run a 4-3. I know this defensive end doesn't show it because he's 295 pounds. But I'm still thinking they run a 4-3. But 84 and 80 on the ends. Then you got 78, 72, and 70. Not the greatest in the middle. Let me go back one more. Uh, 80, 84, and 78, 72. We may do some more dive and stuff with Miranda. Um, we've been doing a lot of the dive out of shotgun recently with the new plays we've been putting together. Let's look at their linebackers. 68, 86, impact player, middle linebacker, and 84. This is the guy who has been leading in interceptions and tackles, if I'm not mistaken. So their linebacking core is pretty good. Corners, not so much. We need to take advantage of this. This is a starter that is out, but that's not a drop-off for them. they got a true freshman who's just as talented. Uh, free safety, 82, and strong safety, 74. So their secondary isn't the greatest in the world. Let's see if our weapons on the outside can take advantage of that. Kicker at 82, punter, true freshman at 68. All right, let's get this show on the road. They have an impact guy on the right, so I'm going to try to kick it over on the left. I may have kicked a little too hard on that side. It looks like it's going to stay in. I'm going to get a decent tackle. Shoestring play there. And we got a guy hurt out of the gate. Wide receiver. He doesn't play a whole lot. He's like a fifth or sixth best receiver. Hopefully he's not seriously hurt. They're going four wide. We are going nickel man. Well, folks, you're in for a treat today. Taking the field for this we'll do something like very, this, perhaps. This really on him Good stop. Around. We had a pinch of the line, was able to get a defensive tackle through. So it's second and ten. Let's. I'm gonna do quarters. And Ekendona's out for the game. Nice. Hopefully, we won't need him today, anyways. Let's see what they call. They're going. He's going to run. I forgot they have a lefty quarterback. So we're going to have to do some spy on that side. I hope I can. We're going to do cloud. I'm going to do this. Did that work? And it did. Good deal. Couldn't remember what it was. So I've got the middle of the field. We got a spy on the left side. Ooh, and they're going with that. Oh, wow. Great play by the quarterback. Wasn't expecting an option. So let's go man cover two. That would have been nice if we'd have got a stop right there. Well, we're going to leave everything as is. North Carolina State comes out with two tight ends. Biggest thing is I don't want this running back to just to run wild on us all day. That's a solid gain of seven to eight yards. I'm going to stay in cover two man. Now, I have a new graphics card put in. This is my first game getting to play with it, and I've maxed out all of my settings. And it's I think it's looking sharper than what it was before. I'd have to go back and compare. Play action. Get a stop, somebody. First down. So their play calling's been pretty balanced so far. I'm going to go back to quarters. We're going to do something like this. Back to ace bunch they go. A stretch play. Pick up a solid four to five yards. 
Uh, let's go 4-3 man. Second and four coming up here. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. What we may have to do... One man backfield. Ooh, I can't backfield. really mean to do that, but that's okay. Up, well, didn't want, that didn't help. Another first down, maybe we'll get a holding. Ah, oh, come on. They're going to decline that probably. Yeah. Didn't make a difference. They're still going to get their first down. We'll go back to man. Again, this is the nightmare scenario with a backfield like that. Hopefully we can overcome it. I may be killing quite a bit of clock today. Intercept that. Oh, man, we could have... Mm. I got in the way. I think I caused that play. We'll go back to cover two, man. Oh, man, it would be nice if somebody would have picked that off. He was essentially the only guy going in that direction, so I went down to try to get the stop. Another first down. This is going to be tough, but what do you do, you know? Well, they're going four wide. Let's go nickel. Man. Do something like this. Going with the wide receiver option play. Oh, somehow I got a tackle there. It didn't look weird. It looked off, but that's cool. Uh, let's go. We'll go goal line, I guess. State. Don't know if that's going to help or not. Watch for that wide receiver reverse. Going fullback dive. Somebody get him. So it's third and three-ish. Yes, uh, I'm going to go goal line again. I hope they just run the ball. Man, if we can get another stop, that would be great. Hold them to a field goal, that would be amazing. Let's go defense. Somebody make a play. North Carolina State lines up in a goal line set. Play action. Dang it. Oh, well, what do you do? <laughs> I thought they was going to throw to somebody on the left, but nope, they went to the other side. Must have been open. Big old lefty quarterback who can throw it, who can run it. So, does that mean we're going to have to run a lot of clock today to keep it away from him? It's possible. I'm going to wait one more drive. If they just got right down the field and score again, then yeah, we may have to do that. This could be one of those trap games. I hope not. All right, let's get on offense and see if we can tie back up. I'm not too worried just yet, but they had a pretty easy time on that drive. Let's go, Culberson. Make a play. Eh, not a whole lot. We're on the left hash. Let me go. I'm trying to think of some plays I have right here. Go halfback flare. Now I worked on some of the plays in this formation. We're going zone. I'm gonna do something like that. I had no choice. I was fixing to get sacked. Somebody came right on through. We were fortunate we got the ball off. Let's uh second and ten. Let's run the ball. We're going man four three. Again, I'm not worried about the clock just yet. Let's see if we can just go toe to toe with them. Not a big fan of that shift. We'll go left, I guess. They're going cover zero. I almost get the first down, but we didn't. Third and one. Let's go with Miranda, see if we can pick up the first down. Just up the gut. Zone 4-3. I guess we got no choice but to go right. Just get the first down. Good deal. Where are we? Let's go. Let's go 14 ISO. We're going man. I got several options. Technically five. Cover one. Sack. I just couldn't get it off in time. Somebody came right on through. You look here. My right tackle just couldn't, couldn't get anything going there. So it's second and 19. Let's go. Let's go deep outs. Ooh, I'm not in a really good spot for this. This is going to be interesting. I thought I was right in dead center of the field. Let's go ahead and snap it. First down. Big play. Man, good throw by Gates. They went cover three. That was a good play call by them. 
but he had just enough of a window. Whew. Okay, let's go. Let's go halfback screen. We're going zone. We're going to bounce this to Pero. Only got one zone beater. I'm not a big fan of that shift. Good catch. Face mask. Oh, they didn't call it. Uh, second and eight. Uh, let's go back to a toss with Pero. We're going man this time. We can go to the left just because we got more grass to play with. Oh, not a very good play. Just great speed all around by them. That makes it what? Third and nine? Uh, tight end cross. Going man. We can't get the first on the right side. Let's see what they call. Cover one. Good catch by Peterson. Hit the post over the middle. Good play. So we're staying alive somehow. Now that is the end of the first quarter. They're up a touchdown, but that was a quick quarter. I guess we, every both teams are keeping it in bounds. Let's go dive from gun wide trips. Zone. I got to keep thinking about that defensive line not being the best in the world. It's not a whole lot there. Uh, I feel like I need to keep going toss with Pero or just heal as well if we can. Look at that goofy shift. That's a smart shift. Uh, let's let's do something like this. Good blocking, everybody. Good blocking. Good blocking. So we are on the 16-yard line? No, the 20. I'm going to go one ISO. We're going man. Probably go to somebody. Ooh. Oh, we're going to go over to the left. Not the best throw. Picks it up, though. That is what we're on the 15. Let's go wide receiver curls out of spread. Man nickel. Since we're running out of room, what we're going to do is do something like this. Go to heel. And we're going to get six points. All right, we've tied it up. We need the extra point first. But that was a interesting drive. We had to convert two big third downs. Gates came through. I'm glad I was able to reward him with a touchdown. Yeah, I felt like he deserved it. He kept the drive alive, both him and Peterson. Let's get an extra point tied up and figure out what to do on defense. We're going to need some turnovers. We need some good stops, too, but they are doing a great job of moving the ball. Their quarterback's really good. Man, I'd love to have a guy like that. It's been so long since I've had a lefty quarterback. Would love to have one, especially somebody as big as he is who can run. Man. Let's kick it over here. That looks like a decent kick. He will return it. I'm going to get a stop. Somebody top it. Uh-oh. There we go. I'm going to go... We'll go back to man. See, their play calling's been really good so far. They've been very balanced. I can't really tell which direction they want to go, but I just, I just don't want that halfback to run wild on us today. That quarterback may have to do a lot of the running. They're going man here. I kind of wish he would have caught it. They probably would have lost yards. They're going four wide. I'm going to stick with man again. I can see him running it here. Just to try to have a decent third down situation. Let's do something like this. Yep, halfback dive. There's my play. Good job, Bale. Way to contain. Now, he's still got decent yards. Third and two. They're going with goal line. We're going to go... You know, I'm going to go 4-4. We got the linebackers for it. We'll do something like this. Fullback dive. Somebody stop it. Dang it. Face mask to go with it. Good job. <laughs> well, here they come. No, well. All right. Let's get back at it. I'm going, oh man, let's, let's do a zone blitz and see how he reacts to it. 
He hasn't got the C1 yet. I hope they go play action. Now they're doing that. That doesn't help things. They probably won't go play action. Now yep, they're going drop back. He's going to straight run it. That's odd. Fumble! Somebody get it! Huge play! Huge! Man, that was big. That was so weird. You go back and look at that. We wheel. He didn't even bother going for... I guess he just felt the pressure. I don't want the penalty there. And that's not going to be... It. McCoy. Making plays out there. So that's just so weird. He must have felt the pressure so quickly. Coming from the right side right here. I had the linebacker coming through. Like, he didn't even bother to look for a pass. He's like, nope, I'm just going to run it. But he ran up it to the best outside linebacker in the country in McCoy. Okay. We got to take advantage of it. So let's go back here. Let's go. Let's do another dive with Miranda. Zone nickel. Ooh, not a big fan of... Let's see. Let's just go ahead and snap it. It's not a whole lot there. Not much up the gut. Uh, let's go back and... Yeah, let's go back and do it out of normal. Let's go one ISO. They're going man. I'd love to see him go cover zero. Got any good matchup situations? Look, McCoy's got a decent matchup. But they're going cover one. We didn't get the first. So what I may do, third and one of the 36. I don't mind going back to Miranda on here. Just He's so big. Let's see if he can at least pick up the first. Zone 4-3. I'm going to take a chance on the left. Look at that blocking. Great blocking. Good blocking. All right. We're on the left hash again. Uh, what can we call? Let's go back to 14 ISO and ace normal. They're going man. 5-2 this time. Please go cover zero. I want to go to Parker over the top. Cover one. Oh, he dropped it. McCoy with a drop. Uh, we can stay here. We can do another toss with Pero. Zone 4-3. I'm going to go ahead and snap it. Get up field. Get the first. We should get that. It's first and 10. His speed got the first down there. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to try. Uh, no, I got an idea. Let's go. I need to get Miranda with another under center. Let's go counter with him from this formation. I have fixed the counters. They're a little bit better now. No, we'll just cut up. Not a whole lot. Ooh, trying to think. Let's do slam with Pero. 5-2. Can we bounce it to the outside since they're going 5-2? Yes, we can. Go to the right side. Now, I'm going to run a little bit of clock. It's crazy. This half has been went by so quickly. Like, look at that. I mean, am I just missing something? Like, the first half's about over with. Ooh, just enough. We're going to get six points. Uh, we should have got... I thought we was going to get tackled back there. So we're up a score. That was huge, that turnover. You take the breaks when you can get them. They have a minute and a half. Their offense is more than capable going right down the field. As long as they don't turn the ball over, they can score on us. Now, I wonder if they're going to be in passing mode on this next drive. I'm assuming they will be. So we may do some quarters. Mix in a little cover three. We'll kick this thing back off. So the goal at this point is to survive the remainder of the quarter so we can keep our lead heading into the third. Hmm, that could have been iffy. That's a good return. Let's do quarters. We'll do something like this. Ooh, I kind of wish our linebackers... Oh. Intercept. Mm, great play by Walker. Got a hand on it. Second and ten. I'm going to stay in cores at a 4-3. I would love to blitz, but that guy will just run away from it. Do something like this. Do an over front. I'm not going to do a spy. 
Not yet. Intercept that. Ah, oh, damn, I swear. Very, I don't know how Gallagher got over there. I, did, I really goofed up. I was. I didn't even see that guy open. It was on the other side of the screen. You couldn't even see it, but Butler just did not do a good job there. And what am I doing? I don't know. Somehow Gallagher got over there and saved the touchdown. Now, they'll probably get one anyways. Let's see what they do here. They're going too wide. Their quarterback's really good, but Butler should have done something there, and he didn't. But that's okay. It happens. Going man. He dropped it. I couldn't tell if that was a great throw or not, though. Eh, they're doing... I must say in man again. I think they're going to run it at least once. I mean, I'm going to go back and look at something. You go to their stats. 11, no, 11 to 8. Yeah, so they've been fairly balanced. They've been running the ball a little bit more. If anyone can force a turnover, Eventually, they got to go to their halfback, the don't they? Linebacker. Here it is. Good stop right there. So it is third and six. We are... We're going to go cloud. We're going to do a spy. We're going to drop eight. Please throw the ball. Don't run it. <laughs> You'll have an easy time if you do. Do something like this. The one option. I was not expecting that. Big stop, though. Big stop. Now, we're going to call a timeout. It's fourth and six. They're going to kick a field goal. That gives us around 50 seconds to play with. Let's see if we can get down the field to get some points before the half. That would be nice. But that's a huge stop by our defense. So I think what they've done is they they selected my halfback screenplay. I need to go back and look at it. It's too late now. I think that's what they've done. The one we called from earlier. The so 49 seconds. I'd like to get a nice return. Let's see if Culberson could do something here. Snow blocking. We are on the left hash. Let's start off with... Halfback circle. Going zone. Let's see what they go with. Just slightly overthrew it. Second and ten. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing at this point, I'm going to run the ball. I don't want them to get the ball back. So let's see if we can get a big gain off of this play. And if we do, we can continue on. If not, I want to run clock. Get a block. Uh, get to the outside. Yeah. Let's get a first down. Now we're on the right hash. Let's go. Uh, let's go here. And we need to think about getting to the sidelines a lot. So let's go one ISO. We may be running a lot of ISO the rest of the way. We're going man. Please, They haven't went cover zero once all day. But there it is right there. Ooh, I got hit when I threw it. He, oh, he caught it. Oh, big play right there by Peterson. Call a timeout. So, Peterson, it's all him so far. We got one timeout left, and we're like, where are we? We're on the 16. Ooh, I don't know what to do. Uh, we got one timeout in 30 seconds. Let's go halfback slam. The pressure turns up when in the red zone. And that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone. Mm, let's go to the right. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Uh, 26 seconds. Okay, so what we're going to do. RB deep. They're going man. I'm going to hurry it up. We're going to go to Myrick and see if we can pick up the first down. Then we may have to call a timeout after this. Throw's got to be good, though. Good throw. Good throw for six points. Ah! That's how you do it right there. Great drive. Gates is in the zone. Perfect throw to Myrick. I let the CPU handle the rest of that in terms of Myrick cutting up field to get the touchdown. Alrighty. That was big right there. Man. So we need to survive this next 11 seconds. We're going to kick an extra point. Perfect kick right down the middle. And he hits the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac Drive we're, Thankfully, we're just playing a little bit better than they are. We're not turning the ball over, stuff like that. We're getting in the end zone, and they're not. That's the key so far. Otherwise, it'd be a tie ball game. And 
It's been pretty simple up to this point. They turned the ball over, and they had a field goal instead of a touchdown. We've had three straight touchdowns. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Who made the play there? He saved a touchdown. Who was that? This guy right here. Who was that? Gilmore. I'm going to dance at your wedding one day. Oh, my gosh. Whoo! That was going to be a touchdown. So they're going five wide. I don't... That's odd. We'll go quarters? Are they going... They're not going Hail Mary, are they? Maybe going Hail Mary. I didn't think about that. Oh, gosh. Get up. I dove. I didn't mean to dive. But we got a sack. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's just all weird. But Buttles has got around the left tackle. Big sack right there. And that is end of the first half. Ended up being a really good half for us. 21 to 10. If NC State wouldn't have that one big turnover, that would have changed, you know, a lot for them. Let's go to game stats. 205 yards to their 142. Our distribution, we're pretty balanced so far. 87 yards on the ground, 118 through the air. I'm telling you, Gates is having a great season so far. We're doing really good on third down, so are they. But they had the one big turnover. We was able to take advantage of it. That's one thing we've been really good at last season. I, yeah, individual stats. Last season and up to this season, we're just not turning the ball over that much. Knock on wood. Uh, 9 of 11, two touchdowns, no interceptions. He is playing at a Heisman level. He's probably not going to win the Heisman because he's not going to get enough yards. But we're doing pretty good with touchdowns, I think. But I'm not going to force it either. Running the ball. Pero Miranda. I still haven't given the ball to Gates or uh, to, uh, sorry, Hill on the ground. He has one receiving touchdown. As you see right here, that's his one. And then Myrick's got one. Uh, let's go to defense. McCoy leading in tackles. Tackles for losses. Buttles with the one sack and Respress and Poland. And again, the one sack is Buttles, but no interceptions just yet. We haven't really had a chance to get one from when I remember. All right, let's head into the third quarter. Ideal scenario, go right down the field, score a touchdown, and really stretch the lead. I'm going to let that one go. I don't like that look of that one. Let's just go ahead and put that one in the end zone. Let's go ahead and go to heel. Let's do a toss with him. He's got a little bit of speed. Otherwise, I'd go up the gut. I try to save all my up the gut runs with for Miranda since he's so big and strong. We'll do something like this. We may have some room on the right side. Good play by Heel. Let's go. I'm trying to see what I got here. Ace arrow, uh, flat. Uh, uh, I'm not really feeling that. Halfback screen. Let me let me go to the halfback screen from here. If I can find it, there it is. We'll go back to it. I forgot which plays I created <laughs> in uh, some of these formations. Let's go to Pero. Just try to get up the field as best we can. Pick up a solid five. Second and five. Uh, what can we do from here? Let's go. What are the? Did I do any other plays here? We got streaks. I could call that. That's an oldie but a goodie. Let's call it. We're going man. We'll go to one of the tight ends if they go cover zero. Uh, let's do something like this. Just trying to get up field. That's a face mask, and they didn't call it. Come on. Oh, they did. First down. Just enough. Oh, yeah. My bad. They didn't call the face mask, but we did get a first down. Let's go back to counter with Miranda. Zone 4-3. Uh, let's go to the right. Uh, let's cut up field. Just nothing there. Good defense. Second and nine. I don't mind going back to the run game again. Hey, let's do it. Yeah, we'll do a toss with Pero. Man, 4 3. Mm, let's go to the left. Haven't gone to the left in a while. Ooh, just enough. That may be six points. What a perfect toss by Gates. Man, right at the last millisecond. Otherwise, that was going to be a loss. Wow. Ooh. But I think being an impact quarterback helps with that. You go back and look. Man, that was so close. 
right there. I don't know how he done it, but right at the last second, he got it off. Just the timing was spot on, but they went cover zero. That's why we got a touchdown. You look at both safeties right here. They both come down, if I'm not mistaken. And both of them come down. Yeah, they're doing like a QB spy type thing. So that's essentially cover zero. That's why we got so much room to work with. And just like that, we're up 17, fixed to go up 18. Here's where we can really blow them out. Now, we should, I, I wouldn't say blow them out. We should beat them by a few touchdowns, I would think. 14 to 21 points, something like that. Because we just got a lot more talent than they do. So this doesn't shock me. Now it's up to our defense to try to stop the their offense. Now what's interesting is we're doing... Oh, this is a bad kick. This is definitely going out of bounds. That's a going to be on the 35. What they're not doing really well, or what we are doing well, is we're shutting down their halfback. Now their quarterback, I actually don't mind if he just runs wild all day. I just don't want their halfback to go nuts. So far we're doing really good at that. Now I'm going quarters. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go cover two. There we go. That's why you can have your defensive audibles in case you make a mistake. Run. Yep, going to him. Uh-oh. Get a stop. Good run. Pick up, what, solid 10? Almost got the first. He did get the first. Let's go nickel man out of nickel. <laughs> nickel man out of nickel. Well, we'll do something like this. Man, I'd love to have that quarterback. He'd be so much fun to play with. I'd love to have a scheme around him. Ooh, that could have been bad. So, I guess that halfback heard me. He ain't doing much of nothing. Well, here he comes. Starting making plays left and right. I'm going to stay man. They'll eventually go play action off of this. It may be right here. I'm going to do something like this in case they go off tackle. They're not. They're going with a pass. Good tackle. He did not get the first. They're going to go goal line here. Let's... We'll do the 4-4 four, four again. Last time, they had a really good play off of this. I think they went with a fullback dive, perhaps. I'm going to make something happen. I'm gonna leave it like that. Just a basic run with a halfback. Easy first down. I do not like going goal line in that situation. If they go to the outside, it's an automatic six points. It's not worth it to me. Well, let's do a zone blitz. Let's see how he handles this one. Last time we called it, he just ran. <laughs> Didn't even bother to uh, look for uh, somebody to get open. Off tackle. Oh, man, I took a bad turn on that one. Pick up another eight yards. They get a touchdown here. They'll be right back in it. I guess we're going to go back to man. I'm not ready to go cover one just yet. I normally reserve that for the really big sets. Him going, they, they can call anything at this point. Back to the run. Oh, Gallagher. What was he doing right there? He just whiffed on that one. Man, that was awful. He just stopped. Look at this. I don't, I don't know what he was doing. And just like that, they got a touchdown back. Thankfully, we're up by a couple of scores, so I feel okay, but now we may, do we need to start thinking about running clock? I don't know. I don't, I feel like our offense has been in a really good rhythm. If we just call our plays, don't really, you know, chew up clock. They're having a hard time stopping us, so I think we can just keep on doing what we're doing. I'm trying to think of plays I got in my playbook I haven't even called this season. When you add a bunch of new stuff, it's easy to forget some of them. That's a good kick right down the middle. Or touchback, technically. Speaking of the middle, we are... Let's go... I'm going to go back to dive. I'm going man 4-3. Shift to the right. No. Uh, let's do this. Ooh, just fumble. Awful. What was that? Just like that, this game changed. He just, he whiffed on it. I've never seen that before. He just dropped it. Wow, he just dropped it. Uh, okay. Well, Miranda is going to get a bit of a break. We're going to let Perro handle that for a little while. I got to punish you somehow. He just dropped it. I don't know if that's because of the new design of the play. Picked up by five yards there, four. 
Only three, I guess. I'm going to stay in man. They've been running the ball a ton this quarter. Do something like this. Somebody, get a stop. It takes a couple hits. So it's third and what? Six? Third and seven. Can we hold them to a field goal? That would be an amazing victory if we could. Do something like this. I've got the middle of the field. Play action. Enters. Big play. Good job, Butler. But guess what? We're going to force the field goal. Wow. <laughs> Man, if they would have scored a touchdown right there, this game would have got real interesting real quick. Well, it's interesting already, but it would have got very interesting. So we survived this. They're going to get their three points. This should be an easy kick. Me, oh, he missed it. <laughs> oh, wow, what a play. Okay. We got to take advantage of it now. So we survived all of that somehow. That kick just died once it got up in the air. Let's go to the left. Good. Can just don't fumble it. Didn't get a whole lot there. I'm trying to think which plays we got. Did I create some new? I know I got a... Let's go... Halfback flare from this formation. We're going man. Now I got an interesting setup here. I think what we're going to do is do something like this. Just go to Paro. Just get the first down if we can. They may have went cover zero, did they? They did. No, they went cover once. I made the right call. My tackle got destroyed. Good play there. Let's go. Our tight ends haven't got to touch the ball any today, but it just that's just kind of the way it's worked out. I want to go run some stick. I need to run the one from here. Let's put the tight end. There we go. I better hurry up and call this. They're going man. It looks like they're going cover one. I'd love to go to McCoy. We'll go to somebody on the outside. Cover zero. Let's get it, McCoy. Get it. Get it. Oh, overshot it. So what is it? Second and ten. Uh, let's stay here. I'm going to let Heal run up. We're going to do a direct with him. Man dime. Not a big fan of that shift. Can we make it better? Do something like this. And that safety over done it on that one. Great play by Heal. Now, I'll, my next play, I'm actually going to... Is Heal okay? He's okay. Uh, let's, we're going to go with... We're going to run an RPO. Where's an edge? I thought I had it. Rip Ohio. There it is. Hopefully this will work. They're going man nickel. I think I may... Yeah, we're going to go this way. Get a block right there. Get a first down. That was an interesting play call. So what I've done here was I noticed that this linebacker was going to be on Peterson. So it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. It probably wasn't my best interest to run it, but I like the numbers we had here. So I took the chance and we decided to run it. But if you notice here, when I snapped the ball, they went with a spy with their defensive end and the linebacker. So that kind of forced me to go to the right. Now we're going to zoom in here. And we had great blocking on the right side. That's why I made that quick turn. And we was able to get upfield to get a first down. Crazy play. We need a touchdown on this one. Uh, we're on the 23. I'm trying to think. What can we call? What can we call? We got maybe enough room to do this. Let's go 14 ISO. We should be able to. Please go cover zero. I want to hit a tight end. I'd love to go to Gay. If not, let's probably go to Myrick. Cover one. Terrible throw. Oh, that was a pick six. Gosh. Just, he just terrible throw. Wow, big play right there for them. He, he was a lame duck throw. He stopped. Oh, no, that was just a terrible throw on Gates. I thought I could get a tackle right there, but it didn't happen. And just like that, guess what? It's a ball game. Oh, that's what happens when you turn the ball over. And what did I say earlier? You know, we've done a really good job not turning the ball over this year. Well, guess what? We've, we're using them all up today. So here's what we got to do. We're still up. 
We just need to play a little bit better. Don't turn the ball over. Oh, just a lame duck throw. I was shocked that he made a throw like that. But we got to get over. We got to move on. Let's see if we can. Oh, Culberson, come on. Go, Culberson. Go, Culberson. Go. 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 Culberson with a goofy play. Wow, incredible play. Insane. So he dropped the ball. I don't know what happened there, but we ended up getting good blocking out of it. Wow, play of the game so far. That was huge. Outside of that pick six, maybe. I thought he was going to score a touchdown right here, but that guy saved it. Oh, my gosh. So can we – we got to score a touchdown here. So here's what we're going to do. Let's run the ball. Let's, let's start running clock going forward. We're in the fourth quarter, so I think it's in our best interest to do so. So the clock is stopped. I'm still going to go to the right. Ooh, what a great pitch at the last second. Six points. Dude. Dude. Perro's having a great day. The, uh, the toss play is working great. Look at this toss. Somehow he got that off. That should have been a tackle. By being an impact player, I think you could pull off plays like that. Great block. or a, It was close to a good block by Archie. I need to give him the ball eventually. He got just in the way of that dude. And then here comes Perro. Somehow, I thought this dude was going to tackle me. But I got my stiff arm. And he just like, nope, ain't going to happen. And now we're up two scores again. What a goofy game. We'll kick an extra point. We'll get back on defense. I think the last offensive score they had, it was pretty easy drive for them. No, we no we held them to a field goal. What's I forgot? There's been so many goofy plays in this game. Man, Culberson, he saved us right there. Dropping the ball forced a big third play. So let's see what they do here. Are they going to pass a lot? Let's go quarters for now. Uh, we'll do something like this. They're going back to Ace Bunch. Halfback dive, or it looks like it was a draw. Wow, big game for them. That's a good call for them. I wasn't expecting that. Let's go quarters again? Yeah, I think they're going to throw. The downside to that touchdown we just had is we didn't get to play action. We didn't get to run a lot of clock. So there's still just a ton of time left. Let's do cover three. Oh, it's second and one. They'll probably run it. I didn't think about that. Oh, yeah, that's kind of what I want to see right there. I think they're going to run it. The one option, at that time they do something like that. He probably got the first. Just enough. He did, didn't he? Yep. Let's go cover two man out of nickel. They don't have to be in a big hurry for anything. Not technically. I know they're down two scores, but I got picked up pretty easily on that one. That's another first down. Is that another draw? It looked like one. I'm going to take a chance on a zone blitz. Maybe we can sneak this in on him and that may mess him up. Ooh, ended up being a really good play. The blitzer came through. McCoy and got the tackle for loss. Second and 12. Let's go back to quarters out of nickel. Wow, this has been a pretty fun game. Really weird, but fun. Good blocking. Their entire offensive line got a good push. So it is third and five. I guess we'll go cloud. I'm going to do the spy. And I'm going to do something like this. We're going to spread them out. Intercept that. Or don't. Well. Good play by the receiver. Hod went for the swat. Yeah, and just whiffed on it. And just like that, they are... I'm going to go with the cover one. 
Just like that, they're fixing the score again. Wow, what a game. Uh, no, let's do something like this. They're going to go off tackle. And I was correct. And he just ran right through me. And they're going to go for two. And they're going to go goal line. We'll do the same. That's fine. Almost spread out because we got a ton of guys on the line as he is. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. I don't know if that's going to help them or not. What are they going to call? Can we stop them? Back to pass. Or, yeah, nope, we're not going to. And just like that, they're down a field goal. Well, what a game. We may get beat. They're playing good. I mean, we're giving them enough chances too. Having those two turnovers in the third quarter did not help things whatsoever. It would be a completely different ball game if we didn't turn the ball over, but that happens. So what we're going to do, we're going to see if Miranda can redeem himself. We're going to go do slam with him. Zone 4-3. Uh, let's go to the left. There's nothing there. Fumble! Another fumble by Miranda. Look at this. What's going on? Wow. I, okay, he's done for the rest of the day. That's for sure. Well, I mean, I'm going to try my best not to go to him. It's just another fumble. What's, I mean... We're using up all of our turnovers today, aren't we? That's what happens. Just You can't turn the ball over. It's the... Football's very simple. Don't turn the ball over. <laughs> Just don't. And they all, they got 39 points. It, I, our defense, that's not been the biggest problem. We're just giving them easy field position. They had two. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to do that. Just don't fumble it. Okay, so we got a whole lot more yards than they do, but they got more points. So we need to try to run as much clock as possible, score a touchdown. Good defense, just nowhere to go. Absolutely nowhere to go. Uh, second and 12, I am. I'm going to go back to direct with heel. It worked really well last time. They're going nickel, though. Who's going to be on the guy on the left? They're doing that. They're going to go. This ain't going to work, is it? They're blitzing. Go ahead and snap it. He picked him up. Get a stop right there. Good block by the receiver. Two minutes and 14 seconds. I'm going to go right back to toss. Give it to our best player. Well, one who could probably make the home run threat or play. Another toss. Get to the outside. Get a first down, but we didn't get out of bounds, which is fine. Let's go gun normal. We're going to go ISO. They're going man. I'm going to let that clock run some more. We're going to somebody on the right. Hopefully, Gates can make a better throw. Now, this is another basic out route. Last time we threw it to that, it did not go well. I don't mind. Yes, keep that clock going. We still got all three of our timeouts. They're going to cover two. Good catch by McCoy. Get the first down. Whew. Okay. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's keep throwing. We'll go RB deep. They're going man. I don't think Hill can hear this, unfortunately. Uh, we'll go to Myrick anyways. Let's go ahead and snap it. Yeah, they're going to cover zero. He failed. Six points. I, I had no choice but the score right there. So we're now we're up again. The problem is they got a minute and a half, and they're more than capable of going right down the field and scoring. So we score too quickly. So our defense needs to step up and make a play somewhere. We haven't. Our defense hasn't been able to stop them in a solid quarter or so. We'll see if we can do it. A uh, minute 24, I assume they're going to be in passing mode the rest of the way. And if they're going to score, I need them to score quick so we can get the ball back. It's going towards the non-impact player, at least. Somebody get a stop. 
minute 20. So this is the ball game right here. Can they go down the field and score? We'll go quarters. Do something like this. I assume they're going to throw. Yep, going to throw there. Oh, what? Did you see that throw? My goodness, go back and look at that. What was he doing here? Look at that, he was backing up. Wow, what a throw. Insane. What a ball player. Man, he's good. Ooh, are they going to call something goofy here? Going with the toss, but he's got some space to work with. Oh, no. I swear. They're going to call the same thing, too, weren't they? And they finally get the toss play to work, thanks to me, I guess. Oh, man. The clock's going, too. I didn't do that correctly. Get a stop there. I'm out. 51 seconds. We may be going to overtime. That would be great at this point. He's not running the ball much. I don't know if you've noticed that. The quarterback is, and he hasn't been scrambling. They went stick. Got out of bounds. Third and three. Um, we'll go cloud. I'm going to do the spy nail. Ooh, I called the wrong play. Intercept that. Intercept it. Game over. Go. 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 Get down. Get down. Oh, my gosh. Insane. What a game this is. Wow. What an amazing game. Now, they got all three of their timeouts, don't they? No, they may have a couple. Okay, let's go back and look at this. This was a huge play. So they went, dropped back. He went over to the flat, and who made the play? McCoy, MVP of the game. He had the force fumble. It was all him at this point making a play there. And we got the interception. Walker picked it up. Oh, gosh. So where are we? They got two timeouts, so we can't take knees just yet. Let's, we, can, we can't take a knee. There's not enough time, or there's too much time left. They're going man. I'm not going back to Miranda, that's for sure. He's, they're going cover zero. Ooh, good block. Get a first down, let's just get down. Stay in bounds. They'll call the timeout. Now that's game. Game over. Game over. Wow. We survived this somehow. I don't know. I don't know how we done it. But we did. This is what happens when you got a really good team and you have a bad day. Your talent can override. you got to overcome it somehow. We're going to take another knee. We'll do two more. Actually, just one more. Should do actually two. It will. That's what will be needed. Yep, take a knee. Third and 14. One more will do it. And let's get out of here. Oh, my gosh. Let's head back to Durham. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed that. That was just very interesting. So that's how I can lose ball games with a really good team. You turn the ball over enough, then, you know, you're going to lose. And But we somehow just squeaked by this one. And think this is going to be one of the most average teams we'll face all year. Okay, 42 to 39. Just an insane game. A lot of goofy things happen. A lot of wild plays. But we were somehow able to get out of there. So I don't know why that stadium pulse was still showing up. That may be a glitch. Who knows? We're going to check out some stance. There it goes. All right, let's check out some numbers. 456 to their 39. 339, I should say. We ran the ball very well. That's what kept us going today. 274 yards. They couldn't stop our toss play. They ran a lot of cover zero, a lot of man. And if you get the right blocking, you can get that to the outside and you're gone. But they had 198 yards rush and we couldn't stop them either. Uh, 182 yards passing. That one pick six just wrecked the entire thing. That's what turned it for them. They was able to come back. Uh, one sack apiece. Both teams done a really good job on third down. 
A lot of turnovers today. We had three, they had two, and yet we somehow came out with a victory. Poor Miranda. I, I mean, if he if he continues to fumble, I am going to maybe go back to heel and paro a little bit more. You can't fumble in my offense. You keep doing that, I got to bench you. But I'm going to let him continue playing. We'll see how he handles the next game. Uh, the rest of this doesn't say a whole lot to me. We had the two penalties. They didn't have any. You go to individual stats. I'm going to look at their quarterback first. I thought he had a great game. 10 of 16, one touchdown. He had the one pick. I'm going to look at the running. Uh, their running back had 169 yards today, two touchdowns. He was really good. He done a whole lot better. It was like sneaky good. He didn't have that one humongous play. He just kind of get getting chunk yards, 8, 9, 10 yards at a time. But here's their quarterback got 20 yards out of that. Just good for them, but, man, somehow it just wasn't enough. All right, let's go back to Gates. 14 of 18, three touchdowns, but the one bad play. After that, I feel no choice, or I had no choice, but to get a little conservative and run clock beyond that. Running the ball, though, it was all Pero. He had three touchdowns. Heel had a really good day. He had a couple good halfback directs. Poor Miranda. He's really struggled. You go back and look at the other games. He's had a really low average. He just isn't really getting it going. So I don't know if that means I may need to uh, keep him for just short yardage purposes instead of the normal offense. I don't know. That's just something I got to think about. Receiving. Myrick had a pretty good day. That one interception wasn't his fault. It was just a bad throw by Gates. But he ended up getting two touchdowns out of it. Peterson bailed us out a couple times in the first half on third downs. McCoy had a few catches. Unfortunately, none of our tight ends got the ball. It just didn't work out. Uh, you know, again, I don't try to force it. I just go to whoever the open man is, depending on the coverage. And they'll get their time, for sure. I mean, they had their day against Northwestern, so maybe they had to take a break. I don't know. It just wasn't meant to be for them to get anything done today. Let's look at the defense. Gallagher had a really good game. He saved a touchdown off a special teams play. Then he whiffed on one, but overall, he led in tackles. But if your strong safety is leading in tackles, that's probably not a good thing. But our real MVP of the game is this cat right here, Jimmy McCoy. Six tackles. He had the one tackle for loss. We can see who the lead tackles lost. We have four guys. We only had one sack. We had one interception by Walker. But who forced that interception? Jimmy McCoy. The man, the myth, the legend. Probably been our most consistent player throughout the entire dynasty. Good for him. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's check out some top 25 scores for the week. Of course, we beat NC State. Then you got USC barely beating Louisiana Lafayette 18-17. Oklahoma over Connecticut. Then you got Michigan over Temple. Then you have Purdue over Illinois, Mississippi State over MTSU, Texas beats Ohio State in a big matchup. Then you got Penn State over Wisconsin, Florida State beats Boston College, Texas A&M over Toledo, Cal over Minnesota, Florida beats Tennessee in their first loss, so Florida is on a good start for the season. Then you have Miami beating Clemson, Iowa over Buffalo, Illinois over Louisiana Monroe. Then you have LSU over Auburn. And that is it for the top 25. So our next game is a top 25 matchup. We're going to take on Virginia. Now, we beat them last season. The year before that, we didn't. They've been the one team in our division that's given us, I guess, the most fits. It's kind of went back and forth. But it's going to be a really tough matchup. Now, we got more talent than they do now, but their defense looks really solid. At least their pass defense looks really good. Now, their offense isn't saying a whole lot. Looks like they passed the ball okay. But the running isn't a whole lot there. But, you know, they run a pro-style offense and a 3-4 defense. That should be interesting to see how we'll attack that. But anyway, it should be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to play them. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.